Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Our discussion today is going to be on the risen Jesus, Arise. The, today's date, it's March 27, 2016, and it also is Easter Sunday. Deuteronomy 6, 14-15 You must not worship the gods of the neighboring nations, for Jehovah your God who lives among you is a jealous God, and his anger may rise quickly against you and wipe you off the face of the earth. Ezekiel 37:12. But tell them, The Lord God says, My people, I will open your graves of exile and cause you to rise again and return to the land of Israel. In Micah 7, 8. Do not rejoice against me, O my enemy, for though I fall, I will rise again. When I sit in darkness, the Lord himself will be my life. Matthew twenty nineteen, And they will hand me over to the Roman government, and I will be mocked and crucified, and the third day I will rise again. In Mark 8.31, Then he began to tell them about the terrible things he would suffer, and that he would be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the other Jewish leaders to be killed, and that he would rise again three days afterwards. Luke 24.34, The Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. We aren't to worship gods or idols of other nations. God will raise us up even though we have died. When the Lord is raised up, he himself will be the light. The Lord told the Pharisees that only one sign will be will he they see, and that is the sign of Jonah. He will be crucified, die, and be buried. On the third day, he would rise again as Jonah was released after three days from the big fish. Jesus was rejected, put to death, and rose again on the third day as he said he would do. This Easter Sunday, I want you to believe that Jesus has risen from the dead. He is alive and in each and every one of us. Have a blessed Easter and God bless.